so John, first of all, you had a, a couple of days to, to have a think back to Saturday's what was quite a crazy game in the end. How do you assess it this morning? Um, obviously, the sending off had a big bearing on the on the game. Um, one or two decisions didn't go for us. Um, but when you get to the 90th minute, uh, goal in front, uh, even with 10 men, I thought we should have seen, seen the game out and a mistake for the third goal let them back in it. When you have a game like that after such a good league run, again, it was it was a bit like this with the cup defeat. When there's a sending off that affects it, how much are you trying not to let the last couple of games, missing out the EFL trophy on a course, affect what was a really good run in the league before that? Well, exactly that. That um, prior to uh, Saturday, then uh, we'd won three out of you know the last three games. I think it was so. We were on a decent run in the league and um, on Saturday I thought we played well and as I say, the, the sending off had a big bearing on the game, which it does, um, but it was still a game that uh, we probably should have seen out. Do you now look at changes? I know you went with the same team on Saturday. Do, does that performance, you say you played well, are you look, looking quite settled and still happy with the first 11 you put out again? Yeah, I think they all all performed well. Uh, there was nobody who had a, a bad game. And uh, as I say, if uh, if we'd have kept 10 men on the pitch and if we'd had a, um, one or two decisions go for us, especially when we scored a perfectly good third goal, the one that come off Leon, um, you go in at 3-0 and it is a completely different game. But uh, it wasn't to be. Um, the last three games, we've had three goals disallowed that shouldn't have been, um, but hopefully um, over a season, then things all uh, even themselves out. And in terms of midfield, you will have a, a space up with obviously Luke Joyce's red card. Um, how, how do you look at that? Is Manny Oyeliki somebody who you think could be ready to start now? That's what we'll have a look at, um, whether we play with Manny or whether we go with four up front or whether we, we change the system um, totally. Um, but uh, it's something we think about. We obviously we had a look at Scunthorpe and the way that they play. But uh, as we've always said, that uh, at the moment, um, if somebody goes out, we've got somebody more than capable of coming back in. And it must please you that despite obviously conceding the four, you're still looking really good going forward. And that must please you that the system you've used for the majority this season seems to be do, doing well for you. Yeah, we've done okay. Um, if we can get one Tuesday, I think we got to is it third or fourth. So it wouldn't be a bad position to be in at this stage of the season. It could always be better, but um, but no, it's um, we just as we always say, we take each game as it comes. Hopefully, uh, get three points on Tuesday, and uh, as I say we go into the Saturday's game against Newport, which is going to be tough with plenty of confidence. Yeah, these are a couple of big games now. Um, Scunthorpe, obviously, down at the bottom of the team that on paper you'd look to be trying to get maximum points again. And obviously then Newport, so two games which really could shape the, the next kind of course of the season, looking how how close it is at the top there. It's quite easy to a couple of results again could help you jump even into the top three. Yeah, as I say, we uh, get a result on tu uh, Tuesday and we will do. So... Uh... No, they're all they're all tough games. Scunthorpe, after the uh, COVID affair with them, uh, are back to full strength, and they're a completely different team than than when we played them at the start of the season. Uh, they've got everybody back now, and that's probably why they got the result on Saturday. And looking at the game itself, what what are you expecting from them? A tough game, um, as I say. Now that everybody's back for them, um, you know they've got quite quite a lot of players. Um, we know how they're going to play, and uh, no, it won't be easy. It still seems to be that, that a, a, such a strong belief, despite even Sass's result, though, that the way your team's going, you must feel pleased and, and looking at it and think if you put some consistency and, and momentum together, like the previous few games, then it's the sort of open league this season that, that it could be one that you could climb into the promotion places. Well, we've been showing consistency now for a long time. So um, if we can keep 
keep that going, then uh, obviously we're going to be in a decent position. Um, so, uh, but obviously the expectation uh, at the football club has changed massively from when I first came in. Uh, and I think that's that's the big thing is there's an expectation. Um, but myself and the players and staff, um, we know it's going to be tough, um, but we're more, we're more than capable of getting results wherever we go. And, uh, it, you know, it's a long season. And uh, if we can keep doing what we're doing, then, uh, then we'll be in a decent position at the end of the season. How do you cope with that expectation? Win games. It's the only, it's the only way you can cope with it. It's the only way that uh, um, it's all about winning, isn't it? I said that from the, when I first came in. It doesn't matter uh, what you say. Um, at every football club, it doesn't matter whether you've got the most money or the least money. Supporters expect you to win. Uh, and we ch we're trying our best, and uh, that's. And I think I think any anybody who watches us can see that the players give their all. We saw that again on Saturday, even though we didn't get the result. You can't ask much more of the players, and uh, as long as I'm getting that from them week in week out, then uh, as I say I can only be happy with them. Given the changes at the club and, and the positivity in terms of the, the investment in the academy and things like that as well. Um, how much do you feel your, your job has changed almost since you came in now? Because it, it's a totally different di expectations you're dealing with, for one. Uh, has, has it brought more pressure to you as a manager? The, the job's not changed. You're always under pressure, whether you're trying to survive. Um, but the, aim of the, the name of the game is, is being successful and trying to uh, win things. And uh, it's, it's, it's the same. It doesn't matter. Um, what time of the season is, uh, what game it is, uh, each game that you go into, you, you're expected to win. And I expect to win. Um, so you put all the pressure on yourself. Uh, it doesn't come from, from anywhere else other than uh, my own expectations. And just finally, John, any injuries, any injury news to bring us up to date with? No, everybody's come through um, from Saturday. So, uh, um, Say apart from Zach, who's self isolating, and James Gibbons, then we're pretty much uh, free of uh, got a full squad. Um, I'll just first of all start with with Saturday. Um, how do how's your first players this morning? I know obviously it was an incident with the penalty with you as well, um, that you would have opened for a free kick. How do you feel this up this morning looking back at Saturday? Um, you know, I'm still a little bit frustrated, but after. Look towards tomorrow night now. So um, yeah, we'll um, we will talk, probably talk about it in training today. And but all right, is simply on tomorrow night. Because your your manager's just said that you're really happy with the performance, and and that actually overall he was quite happy with the eleven players that you, in, on the pitch for yourselves. Yeah, and to to go that long with um, ten men, you know, we we were organised. We 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 tried to frustrate them, and then. Just yeah, I don't want to say too much about her referee, but it kind of fell apart. Um, but yeah, I think the the lads can be proud of how um, you know we all fought with with one less player, and um, we didn't make it easy for them. Looking forward now, um, how keen are you as players not to let the, kind of that result and maybe even back to the Kings Lim game where you played the same team? affect things because before that things have been going pretty well and you're still looking in a, in a good position in the league with this game in hand with the close run of games you can't afford to um dwell on what just what has just happened really so we we literally just have to you know it's, it's gone now that's that's gone and we just we, we just go on to the next one you know we've got 24 hours to get ourselves ready and concentrate on to tomorrow's game and just completely fully focus on on tomorrow and uh, take our, our frustration and, and put put it into a good performance tomorrow night. It's interesting you said there about how quick the turnaround is. As a human being rather than a footballer, is this season quite intense? There's no real get out. Do you just feel like it's just football for you a little bit now? Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no respite at the moment. I literally, once a Saturday... Once you're done with Saturday, you you're literally going seventy-two hours, and you've got another game. So it's um, 
it can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing as well because you, you do pick up like minor injuries and things like that. But if you get a good run going, you you, you can knock points, uh, put points on the board very quickly and, and start to climb, climb the league uh, quite quick as well. But at the moment, obviously, we've, we've lost um, our last couple of games, obviously, including the FA Cup game. But um, right now, where we've, we've lost uh, against Tranmere, it, it, it's a quick turnaround and to try and get three points. Just thinking, like even at home and things, when when you go home, do it, it, you feel like your mind's more on kind of football than ever? Then, when you say when everything's so quick around the corner, there's such a quick turnaround all the time. Yeah, it is. Um, the missus ain't happy with it. But <laughs> it's something she has to live with at the moment. Um, she knows the situation, so um, yeah. Literally, as soon as I'm, I'm getting home, um, it is hard to switch off because everything comes in such quick succession. But um, you know. Uh, yeah, you, you do have to try and switch off, but it, it is kind of hard as well, though. Looking back on the pitch, defensively, you, you had, I think, the best um, the best run in the league going into going into that Tramway game at the weekend. So you must be pleased overall, barring that one game, how, how things have been going as a back four and goalkeeper. Yeah, I think everything's been positive. You know, we've um, quite a few clean sheets as well. And... Um, I think the, the back four, effing has been really good. So we have to just maintain that and, and keep that going. Looking at Scunthorpe, and, and now I think you've got a, a, a quick get, run of games, four games and I think something like 10 or 11 days now. Um, but they're all league. Is that pleasing that you can, because you can see the, the jump spots now almost in league two, can't you? It's, it's quite easy with a couple of wins to find yourselves all of a sudden in the promotion places. Yeah, that's why you don't, you don't get too down. When you when you lose, because right now you know there's, there's such a huge turnaround in games that you, you can win a couple of games and you you're right back up there again. So that's what we just got to keep doing. You know we're fully focused for tomorrow, and um, we went on a, a, a decent run, and we have to we have to do it all over again. Um, so it's it's not all the, the be all and end all. We 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 focus on tomorrow, and once once we've done that, we we we're on to Saturday. But right now it's the Scunthorpe game that we. Um, it's a, it's a game in hand and um, hopefully we get three points and we can climb that league again. Looking at your experience as a player, does this Port Vale team have the characteristics of a team which which could be at the top end of the, of the league at the end of the season? Definitely. You know, if, you, if you look um, how we played for 35 minutes against 11 men uh, on Saturday, the, the way that everyone fought for each other... Um, we 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 are not a, a team that goes down easy, really. You know, we 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 go down fighting, and that's what you need to to get out of leagues like this. And um, as long as we have that same mentality, there's there's no reason why we can't we can't um, get out of this league. I know the manager's just been saying that Scunthorpe may be in a bit of a false position, given the fact that they've had um, a lot of players out through COVID as well. Um, and I guess it's just a just an example for you as players and, and, and how the virus this season can actually affect a team on the pitch quite quite in a big way uh, if, if players have to self-isolate. I know you've had a few, but it's, they've had a lot of their team wipes out, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They've, they've been quite unlucky, really. Um, I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, they, they, they have been unlucky. Um, we played them near the, the start of the season in the cup game, so kind of know what they, how they're going to play and, and what they're about. So um, we just got to make sure that, you know, we, we, we rewrite a challenge tomorrow night and um, pick up three points at, at home.